Jody. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV. My name is Katie O'Neill. I am here in sunny Frederick, Colorado, and I cannot wait, you, wait to take you on an exciting tour of our 2021 Numar King Air. This is the jewel in the crown of Numar, and man, are you in for a treat. So as usual, I love to start from the inside out. Jody, take her on back and let's start from the restroom. So I'm gonna go up here real quick and just close the doors. It is 95 degrees today here in Colorado. So nice and warm. And one of the great things about the 2021 Numar is the fact that you can actually run your air conditioning off of the dual lithium ion battery banks or lithium ion battery banks that are underneath there are two of them and they replace the 16 AGM batteries that we had before so this is a really great new advent one of the other amazing things is by having two lithium ion battery banks instead of having 16 AGM batteries you shed 700 pounds and where do you spend 700 pounds and finishes look at this beautiful marble floor so this marble floor will be offered in all four units it is heated and it is absolutely splendid one of the nicest attributes is it, co it covers all your colors so this coach is an open palette for your decoration um, really you can do just about anything with it take a look at this lovely linear bath or linear shower drain that we have in this shower right below our teak bench and our stunning chevron tiles just dripping from the top of the shower down. Now you'll notice that we have the silver tones in this uh, chevron pattern, whereas if we were having, for instance, the Mesa interior instead of the Voluto interior, which is what we have today, you'd have a gold tone. So I just love this. If you like these cool silvers, Voluto is really your coach. And along with all of these lovely chrome accents, we have some things that are just really sensible. We have our conditioner our body wash, our shampoo. We have this beautiful uh, rain shower head. And as you can see right here where you've got this white mink rift oak, which we've never been able to show you on camera before uh, in our cathedral shower. This cathedral shower allows us to take a shower um, even if we're tall people. I'm wearing five inch heels today and I'm still well underneath the shower head. Um, I also do of course have my handheld wand along with a nice shelf here to keep some supplies, even another little shelf down here as well, and our AquaView shower system. Of course, our AquaView shower system recycles all of that hot water so that we're not wasting our gray water tank uh, while we're getting ready to take our shower. I love that Numar has given us these lovely towel racks on the back of the door, as well as a robe hook, which is a really important feature to me. I always have a robe. Uh, now here in the back we have of course our beautiful egress door, but look at this lovely backlighting. So there's over 100 improvements on the 2021 King Air. Uh, you'll notice that you'll see these really amazing windows throughout the RV, um, but we will keep with things that make sense for us, like these egress doors which are so popular for everybody. If you have any kind of emergency, of course, oh there we go, unlock. Uh, it's a great place to be able to escape the magnetic door cover here. You can pop that off, deploy a ladder, and it is reusable. So you can just bring it back in when you're done loading your linens, bringing in your sheets, maybe all of your supplies. Uh, of course, we have a beautiful porcelain toilet here as well. Nice white porcelain toilet comes with the Voluto, our flushless uh, or our touchless flush, as well as our toilet paper dispenser. Now look at this; it's all dark, right? Now we're going to open this cabinet or open this sliding door to our closet, and guess what? The lights pop on. How stunning is this? Look at that cedar lined closet. You can see the light bar is actually in the hanging rod itself as well as at the door entrance. There's another LED light strip. There's a second hanging bar here. And then here on the other side we have Lamar. Shout out to you for asking for this. I know a lot of people apparently have been wondering. Yes, we have the traditional Numar safe, but what's in there? Oh, it's perfect. You can keep all of your diamonds, all of your gold, and all of your silver on their own individual shelves. So plenty of room in the safe. And then we've moved all of the electronics for your audio video pleasures here into the back instead of having them scattered throughout the coach, just giving you more storage. And of course, some more great shelving as well. So ample storage in this coach for a really nice residential feel. 
uh, plenty of room to get nice and comfortable. I'm gonna go ahead and close this, and we'll talk a little bit about this motion sensor enable. When I enable my motion sensor, what that does is I can have this coach set up so that as I'm walking through, I can actually have it turn lights on as I'm entering and exiting rooms. So that at night I don't need to leave a light on in the bathroom, I can actually just walk into the bathroom and the lights will turn on for me. Now here is a fantastic uh, medicine cabinet. You'll notice there's a 110 outlet here in the back, there's actually two. So you could keep your hair dryer and your flat iron here in this medicine cabinet. Everything of course is carpet lined, silver leaf control panels everywhere. And you'll notice that when I push my mirror light button and I turn that on, look at this beautiful mirror light that I have. So it really brings the light into the, into the bathroom. And then look at this designer metal sink. How stunning is this undermount trough sink? Absolutely beautiful. And below that we have plenty of room for linen storage. And I won't show you all six drawers per many requests online. We have a lot to cover but I will assure you that they're all the same on both sides. They're full extension, dovetail, beautiful Euro finish, white mink oak, beautiful soft clothes drawers. So his and hers all day long, very, very comfortable. And then of course we have our favorite new feature for this RV, the Bosch washer and dryer. And look at all of these settings. So if you would like to do a quick, super quick dry, or a quick 40, you have a, you have a little, uh, a number of different settings that you could have. You've got an air fluff setting. You also have a super quick 15 if you wanna do a real quick load of laundry before you head out after your hike for the day. Maybe you wanna you know, get those, those Lululemons ready for dinner. Very easy to do. And again, look at how stunning this cap this uh, finishes and I love the wallpaper in Voluto look at that sparkle now Jody don't get claustrophobic I just want to show everybody uh, how this looks from inside look at the finish on that door how beautiful is that and when you come back out I'll show you how these are actually really really nicely hung uh, so come on in uh, this designer feature ceiling which is camouflaging all of our air conditioning and uh, heat returns is absolutely decadent. This is one of our new features as well. Another new feature that you'll find, we have granite everywhere, like everywhere. Now, why do we have granite way up here? Because it accentuates our ostrich leather ceiling. I mean, ostrich leather, really? Yeah, let's talk about, don't, Pull, pull up all the stops. Don't leave any detail unfinished. Now, I do have a wireless charging dock. I can just put my phone down here on top of this little circle, or I have underneath here a 110 outlet as well as two USB ports. And then there's a little slit right here that comes out where you can put your cords through. Now on top of that, if you're wondering, oh gosh, where do I plug in my laptop? Where do I plug in my iPad? Where do I plug in my CPAP machine? Well, Numar has done this great job. So we'll take a look under here and we'll find the pump for our sleep number bed. Also one of the cushions for our 44 inch extendable booth dinette al along with our table inserts. But on either side, we have two 110 outlets on outside of the bed underneath. So if you have a CPAP machine or anything that you need to keep plugged in, you can do so. Um, I want you to know we locked ourselves out of the safe getting ready for our video today. And inside this book, you can find everything you need, including the how to get yourself unlocked out of your safe book. Um, this really handy guide that Numar provides you answers all of the questions that you might have about this RV. Um, now, this RV, if you look at the beautiful bedroom that we have here, you've got a window right above your, uh, your sleeping area. So if you've got a nice view to look out at in the morning while you're getting ready, how stunning that is that. But I've got the carefree awnings deployed because it's so hot out here today. Look at how nice those shade us. And they also provide a great degree of privacy. So I love that. That's just a nice feature to have as well as silver leaf panels on either side. So if you want to have your bedroom control, you can control all of your lights, turn your generator on and off, all of those things right here at the touch of a button. And then over here on this side, you'll notice we have really nice storage. 
There's your Sony Blu-ray player for your smart TV. Now, um, this RV has all of the fixings for watching uh, TV, except for you'll have to bring your own receivers. But a lot of people are just streaming on these smart TVs or just you know watching Netflix, Hulu, whatever it is that they tune into. Uh, so that's here for your viewing pleasure as well. Again, more storage. And right behind this door is one of those motion sensor detect uh, detectors. And then you'll notice, look at how much room I have here on my uh, on my countertop. How nice is that? And then eight of these beautiful drawers. So really deep drawers. And of course, once again, after moving all of our electronics to the back, we've got plenty of room for extra drawer space. So I get six, Jason gets two. That's how it works, right? That's what makes sense, I would say. Now, uh, as we exit here, we're going to go ahead and stop first in the ha half bath. So this is a bath and a half model. This is the 4531. And again, a lovely backlit medicine cabinet with 110 outlets inside, all carpet lined as well. Again, this beautiful mink rift oak wood finish, just lovely white, beautiful, beautiful wood finish. Um, again, those beautiful granite countertops. I love this stunning modern backsplash. It's just so beautiful. Uh, and then you do have a window that opens in this bathroom as well as a, a fantastic fan with a rain sensor. And then I'll stand up here to show you this is where all of the uh, electronic features are for this RV. So if you do need to get to your fuses, they're all right here. There's a really nice labeling system over here on the pass or on this left side with some extra spare fuses as well. So of course you'd expect nothing less uh, from uh, from Numar. Now you do have a dual inverter system on this coach, again with that dual lithium ion battery bank. And your Aqua Hot or your Oasis system has gone from 3,500 BTUs to 85,000 BTUs, from 35,000 to 85,000 BTUs. So very, very capable RV. Um, this RV is going to feel just like you're at home, except for maybe it's a little bit nicer because it has, I don't know, Viking appliances, Bosch dryers and washers, Fisher Paykel pay, pay dishwashers. I mean, look at this. How about, how about a Wolf induction cooktop? How's that? So everything here is just the height of luxury. Of course, you've got your microwave convection oven. There's a nice shelf above here to store, you know, spices, maybe some cooking oils, whatever it might be that you'd want in little bins. A little push button to close. It's a new feature as well. I love that you have all of these little outlets throughout the coach that pop up out of your granite countertops, just like you're at home or maybe even nicer, as I mentioned. Now, I do have a few different things going on here. First of all, I have our covers for our induction cooktop with the built-in cutting boards, but I wanted to show you something that I like to do. I really like having a cutting board in here. Now, this one's a little small. This would make some noise, but if I can get a cutting board that fits pretty well into this area, if I put my phone on here, when we take a turn, it's not going to go flying to the floor. So I do this a lot. And then what would I do with this? I might leave it at home or I might just store it here underneath the sink. And so that's where I have the other two covers for our uh, farm style uh, stainless steel undermount sink. Uh, as you'll note, all of these uh, great features are just so natural, so well done. You've got such a great um, attention to detail throughout, plenty of room to keep everything, making very easy and good use of all of the space. Love this dishwasher. And then right above that, of course, our silverware drawer, which is currently stacked full of remotes. A uh, Williamsburg Furniture has a number of offerings for the desk for the queen's seat. This is the one that comes with the coach. It holds your iPad. Uh, but like I said, there's a bunch of different choices you have. You can go online and order other ones. This just fits into a little hole on the oversized queen seat that you'll find offered in the front of the cab. And then I just wanted to show you, I'll put some stuff in here so you could see kind of what size these drawers were. 
And then somebody wanted to make sure that we reminded you to never leave home without your potato peeler. Very important feature. Okay, so let's close this up and we'll move down. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned that this is a residential style faucet. It's so well done, you might not notice, but I do want to make mention of that, of course, with your hot water dispenser. And then look at all of this storage here. It's like all the way back. I mean, so amazing. So much room in this coach. So if you want to live in this coach or go on a three or four months long road trip, you could totally do so. It's so comfortable. Got some cooking bowls in here. And then this little tablet here is really nice. If you don't feel like using your silver leaf system, you've got a tablet that will allow you to control everything from the coach on your tablet. This RV is also equipped with something called My Rosie. Um, and what My Rosie does is My Rosie allows you, whenever you have a Wi-Fi connection, to actually log in and you can see whether or not your generator is running, you can monitor your temperature, you can get your RV primed for when you're leaving. So really, really cool. This is an R this RV has a My Rosie app uh, that is just second to none. Really great for people who want to have their RV nice and cooled off so they can go down to their storage lot, pick up their, their RV and hit the road, have it be ready for them to go. Um, I wanted to show you these two because there's just a few more outlets that pop up throughout the coach. They're kind of hidden throughout, but they're just so nice. And then again, that motion detector is right there. Now this little guy is kind of fun. So a little jackknife sofa here. If you're wondering what that looks like, I'll go ahead and show you. I think that that's why they put the round cushion in here so I could show it to you rolling. Um, but so there's your nice little jackknife sofa. And then I've got a full, a trifold, an 84 inch trifold on the other side. I'm gonna show that to you as well, but before I do, I want to go ahead and hit this televator and have that pop up so you can see how lovely this TV is. Again, if you are a movie buff or you want to have a great sound system, um, you've got our sound bar. I mean, look at the size of the sound bar. I mean, if you wanted surround sound, it's right there for you. And of course, this is a great place to enjoy uh, a nice movie. Put your feet up on this ottoman, really comfortable couch. And then what's really smart about this ottoman is look at all of the storage in this ottoman. Keep all of your instant popcorn, all your DVDs, all the remotes, everything right there at that touch. And let's go ahead and show you. Um, I love this couch. So one of the pet peeves I have is pillows. I open up all of the beds in all of these RVs and pillows are always a big pain because what do you do with them well what's really cool about this set is not only is this all real leather this is the only offering that we have that has all real leather they're attached which means they're really easy to store i can just put them down stack them up they're not going to fall apart they're not going to land on the floor and then i can go ahead and pull out my bed oh there we go just extend this little bad boy here. And as I said, this is a really nice trifold uh, sofa. So this is a great coach for entertaining. You've got mom and dad, you've got the littles, everyone's comfortable. Look at the size. This is a really big bed. It's super comfy. If you don't believe me, come try it out yourself. Uh, really great um, and we don't have to tell anyone that you have this so if you'd like it to just be you know drinks for six dinner for four and uh, sleeping for two we won't tell them about all the sleeping accommodations in this RV but really if you wanted to go on a family road trip in the height of luxury you could do that very easily in this King Air now my clients uh, that have been waiting for this RV to come in would like to have theater seats so I'm hoping that after seeing this video and how magnificent this little couch is, they might consider keeping it because I think it's great for resale value. A lot of people really like to have just a place just in case uh, you've got friends that come and that want to stay with you. It's really nice that you know if you want to have a few 
little grands running around in the morning. They've got a nice place to sleep in their comfy. If they have a nice bed, they'll be more likely to want to go camping with you, I think. All right, so let's talk about this dining situation. Now I know what you're thinking. Well, that might be good for four, but what are you gonna do if you've got, you know, all these grandkids and parents sleeping there? Well, that's really easy. You just push this little button right here and check this out. Now I want you guys to know I'm running this entire RV off of uh, lithium ion battery packs and solar right now. So those four panels have kept our lithium ion batteries fully charged this entire time. And we have been out here for a good period of time this morning. So that's pretty cool. But check this out. How cool is this? So I know I showed you the extensions for the table underneath the bed in the back, but look at this. I could literally sit here with six people and have a really nice Sunday family dinner. So comfortable, lots and lots of room. Or, you know, I would probably leave this chaise out for the entire time and sit here and read a book, maybe drink a glass of wine while everyone's watching a movie. So super cool. Now let's talk about something else that's really unique on the King Air that nobody else has. Uh oh, don't forget your cushion, Katie. Um, these windows. So these windows are really spectacular. So one of the things that we've changed that's going to make a really big difference in the King Air in terms of sound, uh, sound quality is these windows are all now bonded. What that means is much like you would have a car window or a windshield uh, where it's sealed from the outside and glued in and then inset it's pressed together you've got a bonded window on the outside of your RV now so I'm going to open up these shades just so you can see how much window space we can have because of doing that window awnings no shades look at that this is so cool so I love uh, I love these big windows that you have here. Now, someone was asking earlier about uh, cross ventilation. I do have windows that do open, so if you would like to have fresh air in here, you're welcome to. But this is, RV is designed with this beautiful ceiling to give you great returns, great air conditioning coming down from, uh, from the outsides as well as the middle. So you've got this great recirculation going on at all points of time anyway. But there are uh, two windows that open that are, can are across from each other if you do want that cross ventilation. Um, so let's talk about what else do we need to cover? Um, oh, the refrigerator, says Jody. The Viking appliances, of course. Take a look at this. So we've got a spectacular refrigerator. Look at how big this is. Really, really amazing. What a luxury. And then this beautiful freezer down below. Now we do have a Dometic on a slide outside as well, but I mean, wow. Talk about first class. So we love the Viking appliances. And I do, I, you're right, we have to talk about this pantry because look at how cool this pantry is. Uh, so here we go. So not only one, but Rubber Shelf has given us two adjustable pantries here side by side so so much uh, storage for you could keep cooking supplies in here and you could keep other household items over here I mean you can separate them there's a wall in between them so that is just such a nice decadent uh, feature of this RV now let me bring these uh, bedroom in from the back oh and Jody while I'm doing this why don't you come pop around the corner and I can show off uh, one, of the, an, one of the other features that we have that's changed a lot that's really cool is I love that we have um, updated this silver leaf system so that I have coach mode. So depending on what I'm doing, I can change what I'm doing. So I can say I'm outdoor and I'm unplugged and I can hit activate and it will change what needs to be done for the coach. So when I get home and I want to go indoor plugged in, I can set that so it knows what needs to happen to be able to store appropriately. I also can see all of my water. I can control my climate from here. I can control my generator. Uh, so everything is right here. I've got my floor heat. Um, I can change the brightness of this panel. So not only do I have my app on my, uh, 
on my pad. I also have my, my rosy system. And then I have a silver leaf system here uh, where I can take a look through all my cameras. So I can see who's knocking at my door. So very, very cool feature of this RV. Okay, so now we've got the bedroom brought in. I'm gonna go ahead and sew this ottoman. So one of the nice features of this RV that I really like a lot, uh, it's an important feature to me. I know we mentioned the aqua hot system, but so you have hydronic heat. And you had a 35,000 BTU system in the previous King Air. Uh, this Oasis system is upgraded to 85,000 BTU, which means you're going to be able to stay warm no matter the temperature. You're going to have lots and lots of hot water. And with that comes an 80 gallon gray tank, which is so nice, and a 60 gallon backwater tank. So 105 gallons of fresh water, 80 gallons of gray water, 60 black water, 200 gallons of fuel. Holy macaroni, that's a lot. So I've got everything pulled in here. And what we're going to do now is bring in the slides so that you can see this, the walking room. Now, if you have a really, like a St. Bernard or, you know, I don't know, one of those really big dogs, you might consider trading in your dog for a small white dog to match this coach because a small white dog like a Bichon Frise would look really, really cute in here. Or like my little Frenchie, Belle Belle, she's a little platinum, she would look great in here. Maybe I should talk to Jason and see if he'll buy me this RV to match my Frenchie. Okay, so let's pull these slides in and take a look at how this works. Look at how quick they are. Now keep in mind, you guys, this thing is running off of batteries. No generator. This is just amazing. There's our hydraulic lift coming in. Now keep in mind, the little rollers that you see under this uh, hydraulic slide are more for putting pressure on it if you're walking on this. They really don't need them. They're just uh, just so that they don't uh, you don't push your tile against your tile floor. But this is an all tile offering. I love this wood plank tile. It's absolutely beautiful. And look at how nice and airy this coach looks because of that lovely white mink roofed oak. Absolutely beautiful. Now we're all pulled in. Jody, take a look up here. So here again we have another silver leaf system. So you have all of your controls here. So once again, you can see all of your cameras. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and push out and we're going to set our Gerard awnings out. So we're going to put both of our Gerard awnings out. Uh, we could say search, take a look and see how many uh, satellite or how many TV stations that we have coming in here. Oops, turn it back on, sorry. There we go, start searching. Um, then here you have all of your uh, privacy drapes. Uh, we've got 13 stations, just so you know. Your satellite system. This is for your uh, for your uh, four solar panels, your 400 watts of solar on top. Uh, so we're all pulled in. I'm going to go ahead. Oh, I didn't mention the Wi-Fi router, but we, of course we have all of those things. Um, and then storage again up top. Once again, really nice soft closed doors. Not going to slam shut. Beautiful execution here. Now, what I wanted to show you was take a look here so here we go this is so cool now did we get it started let's see we gotta wait for it to turn green doesn't see my key if you can't see your key um, I actually had this happen before you just push right here with the uh, Spartan key on the ignition and it will show maybe she wants us to start her up there she goes she's on okay so there we go. So let's take a look at this. Some of these controls are so nice on this, but one of the things I think that's really important, so you've got this dial here. This is for your stacker control. So this is gonna be for your trailer. I think what a lot of people are interested in looking at is your air leveling. So here's your air leveling control. You can just set it right here. All you gotta do is select with okay on your steering wheel and you can choose everything else that you're looking for, You know how you want your air leveling to be. Uh, I'll go ahead and hit back there. We're going to go here to brightness and then uh, messages. If you had any kind of malfunctions, they'd show up there. Your settings here, you can go in here and set your comfort drive, for instance. 
So for comfort drive, if you want to have your comfort drive set, uh, maybe there's a lot of crosswinds, you want it to be a little bit higher, you can just go in here onto your digital dash and set that right there. So really cool, very easy to get to. Um, of course, you've got your sound, you can set everything up here. And then you've got uh, your units. Uh, I know that somebody asked me if they could change um, between Fahrenheit and Celsius. So if you are Canadian or you're European and you're used to that, that's nice. You can also change your speed to kilometers over miles. That was a question I had gotten online before as well. So there's that. And then we'll go back to our trip computer. So I re-zeroed that today so it can show me uh, from today's usage how many miles I've been driving, what kind of fuel I've used, what my average speed has been. And then I can see that all of my bay doors are open. Uh, the only one I don't have open yet is the generator door, which I will get for you in a minute. Um, but so everything's open here. And you can see, cause they're all red. And then here's my TPMS right here as well. And then I can also see um, beyond my tire pressure monitoring system, my active cruise control. So I've got uh, blind spot control. I've got actually eight blind spot sensors on this RV now, which is a huge improvement. I also have mobile eye as well. Um, so I can set this car, I can set this RV to follow the car in front of me by either three, 3.3 or 3.6 seconds stopping distance. So three would be the shortest uh, and 3.6 would be the longest. And what that would do is just change the, the space between us. So if I was in a heavy traffic situation, I might want to set it for three seconds. And if I was, you know, out on the open road and didn't want to be kind of rude and behind somebody too close, I could set it to 3.6 seconds. And all of that, all of that right here on my dash. Now here we've got, of course, our power mirrors left and right. Uh, you've got your blind spot monitors. You can see out there in that mirror. Uh, and you can also see that there's a left-hand turn signal indicator. Let me go ahead and see if I can turn that on for us. Do you see that? So you can see that someone even next to you could see that you're trying to turn uh, change lanes. And of course, when I turn that on, it sets my camera off to the left-hand turn indicator as well. So very cool there. Um, I really love uh, the overhead camera. That's so nice. You can see I've got all of those doors open. Um, now someone said, how do they have a picture of this? And I was like, well, there's a satellite subscription, of course. It's just taking a picture of you. No, that's just a fake picture of an RV. It's really all the cameras that we have mounted around the exterior of it. So don't let anyone tell you silly jokes like I do. Uh, visor controls, of course. We've got the RV on, so it doesn't really want to put any visors down. Lock and unlock, generator start. Oh, I love this high, medium, low for my fan in the front. So I saw that really nice fan up front, even though I don't have the cute little you know, rotary fans. I can turn those off. Uh, you've got your air conditioning here. And then I love that we have a place to keep, you know, wallet, maybe some cell phones, maybe who knows, whatever you've got up front, chapstick, who knows. Um, and then here we've got, of course, our Allison transmission, our HWH computerized leveling jacks. Uh, we have been in a relationship with this company for so long. They're so amazing to us, um, really dependable. I've got my engine brake with high, medium, and low. I love having a three-stage engine brake. That's super awesome. And then I can dump my tag here. Why would I do that? Maybe just so I can air level my coach. So very, very nice. Uh, here's my window open. So power windows. I've got memory controllable seats. Um, my memory controllable seats are not only heated, but they are also air conditioned and they're also massaging. So really nice. Um, I also have, here's that control system for those. Um, I also have my really cool, look at that. Talk about comfortable. And again, this is all real leather. This is the only offering you'll find by Numar that has 100% leather throughout the coach, including ostrich level leather on the ceiling. Uh, and I wanted, Jody, if you can just get a quick pick of this, like look at how cool this is. So I've got a charging dock right here. I can charge my cell phone and I can see what I'm doing. So if I want to be able to see Google Maps, I can leave it up there. And then I have another one over here in the queen seat as well. And I have my, con I have my little camera now. This is locked in place, so I gotta loosen it, but I can change this so that I can see everything that I want and I can take a look at all the different views. So really nice that I have this controller. So let's say, honey, 
we just lost the Jeep. You can see it happen live and on TV. I don't know if you want to say that, but anyway. Uh, so this is your controller for your seat. So you've got all of your uh, heat, all of your massaging. Of course, we have our stunning step cover so that our small white dog does not get trapped in said step. And then another feature that I really like about this year's model is this screen door. I absolutely love this screen door. Look at that. How cool is that? The entire screen closes. Now, all of that being said, I'm sure I've missed 5,642,000 things uh, because there's so much to show you on this coach. Um, but we've covered quite a bit. Storage up there. There's even wallpaper behind the doors. Just love this. This finish is so beautiful. So let's go outside and take a look at some of the other nice features that we have. Of course, our HWH hydraulic step, which is articulating. It does have sensors at the bottom and the front of it. So if it was going to hit a curb, it would stop. And then right here, we've got our lighting for our steering wheel, our, steer, our, sorry, our step well, as well as lock and unlock for the baggage, battery disconnect. And then here you'll notice that we can set our lights to be either white or amber. So depending, if we want white, maybe it'll be a little bit brighter so we can find something. And if we want amber, that would be so that we could have maybe a little bit of more of a warm glow. And then if your husband keeps turning the air conditioning up, you can keep turning it down. You've got your own controls right there. So Jody, come on out. So sensors and camera are one of the major uh, improvements that we've had this year in the King Air. So first of all, here's a sensor. Here's a camera. There's a sensor. So all these, oh, I just had us. So we must have moved out of the zone. But anyway, so all of these sensors and cameras are really important. Here's another camera. And then, of course, you've got that doorbell. You've got your locking keypad. This illuminates so you can always see your front door from wherever you are. And then dual fueling stations. I'm sure I've mentioned this before, 200 gallons of fuel. I mean, what a huge amount of fuel you have on this RV. Uh, and then I have our carefree awnings out and then I have one of the Gerard awnings. I thought I put both out, but that's okay. You can kind of get the idea. There's two of these things and they're just absolutely huge. And it's really keeping us out of the sun and making a huge difference right now. Now, they're not uh, wind sensing, if you will. They're more like a vibration sensing. So when they get blown, they start to kind of bounce. And if they bounce too much, then they're going to go ahead and retract automatically. A lot of times, that's what might have happened here. The back might be a little more windy than it is up front, so it's pulled in automatically. And then, of course, we've mentioned earlier that either white or amber light comes out right here in that LED strip. Another new feature. Uh, so this is a really cool finish. This is really a marine gate grade finish. You can wash this out with a hose. It's waterproof. So really, really nice new finish in all of the cabinets underneath. And then take a look at these doors. So these are all soft closed doors. So they suck in automatically. And to release them, you just push this little button. Oops, I just closed it again. So you push this little button and they pop out and then there's a shelf on top now which is so smart and of course we have our easy glide slides which come way out which is so nice look at the size of these things so these are so great because even if you had your whole slide out you'd still be able to load this and get ready to get on the road Super, super nice feature uh, by Numar in the King Air. And I won't put all, all of these, but I wanted to show you how far that extension went because I think that that's really important. And again, once again, I love the soft close feature. They just suck close. There's no more slamming them. Now, of course, I'm not going to let this go because Jody knows I'm not tall enough to catch it if I do. But of course, we've got our outdoor entertainment our Bose soundbar, and then another power slide. In this one you'll find we do have some of that ceramic wood tile. 
So if you do crack a tile and you need a replacement, we've got it there. And this is our central vac uh, tube system. So all of the attachments that come for your central vac. Now, why would you keep them outside? Of course, you would keep them outside because you have access to your central vac outside. Now, here is our Dometic freezer. It's full size, but what a smart idea. They've put it sideways here so that you have more room for other things. And this can be either a um, freezer or a refrigerator, whichever you choose. Oh, there's that new Oasis hydronic heating system from the backside if you want to show it, Jody. And then right to the right of it is here where you have your central back. So again, that went from 35,000 BTU to an actual 85,000 BTU this year. So really, really substantial. Uh, here's our tool shed, of course, or as you've seen in my past videos, top shelf. This is a great place to keep all of your best liqueurs and best mixers. Now this one here is right next to a few more sensors. Again, this is going to be for your lane tracking package. And then when you release this one, it actually pulls up. And this is where the biggest uh, technological improvement is. This is where you have your Xantrix uh, inverters and your dual lithium ion battery pack. So again, this replaced 16 AGM batteries and gave us two uh, battery packs that are strong enough to actually power this RV and allow us to run air conditioning without being plugged in. Very, very cool. Uh, your enhanced tag axle gives you a 17 degree wheel cut, so even more wheel cut on, than on previous models. So very tight turning radius. Uh, out here underneath the egress door we have our, oops. I'm gonna go turn that generator off. Oh, maybe that's, oh, you know what that is? That's the engine. Turn off the engine. If I turn off the engine, Jody, then I'm not gonna be able to show everybody the generator. Okay, I'm gonna go turn off the engine. Sorry, folks, I know that that's a little bit loud in the video. Um, <laughs> so in order to show, uh, we had a request, Lamar wanted me to show the generator. And I don't do that a lot because you have to have the engine on. And I'm gonna see if I can do it with just having the RV on without the engine being on. There we go, that'll be a lot quieter. There we go, I think I did it. So Lamar, if I don't have that generator pick for you, it's not because we didn't try. It's just a little tricky uh, in these videos to show you that. So it's a 12.5 kilowatt uh, generator. It's an Onan generator, of course. Oh, I've got my side marker lights on. Uh, 15 gallon depth tank, fillable on both sides. Of course, I mentioned that we had a Spartan chassis here. Here's our chassis batteries. Uh, this is on off, so this is where you would turn your chassis on and off. The house is just inside the door. Another sensor here. There's that soft closed door popping in. Oh, you know what? Let's pop that out. This is such a cool feature. I love this. So again, here's that K3 chassis, 1,950 foot pounds of torque. What an amazing amount of torque. 20,000 pound towing capacity. So here's your uh, 605 horsepower engine. <laughs> I mean, everything on this RV is big. It's just super amazing. Uh, the Oasis system, if you buy an RV from me and you mentioned that you saw this in the video, I will give you a free bottle of Oasis juice. I think I've given away six just in the last two months. So make sure you're one of those people who gets a free bottle. It's not expensive, but it's just nice to have free stuff, right? Um, and it's cool to have it uh, with hydronic heat. You know, you've got your heat pumps, of course. You know, you've got three air conditioners, three heat pumps. But if it's really cold, hydronic heat's really the better way to go. And having that Oasis system up and running is important. But if your levels are too low, it's really hard to get them to deliver liquids like that to your campsite. Uh, so here you'll see that we have our air brake is already, already set up. We've got our Voyager 
camera control system, all of our trailering stuff is all right here. Look at the size of this hitch, just beastie. So cool, what a great job Spartan does. Look at these beautiful smoked LED taillights. Here's your radiator, just to the right of another sensor again. This is the other deaf filling station. So again, dual fill for your deaf, huge tag axles. This is for your water hose, so you can keep your sewage hose in here instead of in the rest of your bay. Of course, this does have the SantaCon system. Two more sensors once again. And then here are, here's the other side of our lithium ion battery pack. Just such a, a cool new upgrade. Uh, you know who else is doing this? Prevo. So if you want to buy a Prevo for, I don't know, a few hundred thousand dollars less, uh, you want to get that same type of technology, this is where they're going. Same thing, that big Oasis system. Uh, look at this water bay. Absolutely stunning. Uh, very, very cool. Nicely covered, very classy. Um, all digital outputs. And of course, you can stop if you have a leak anywhere. You can actually tailor this system to turn the water off to one particular uh, feature. This is available on only the King Air and the Essex. I've had that question asked a few times. It does not come on the London Air, if that was a question you might have had. Uh, water, uh, or power water reel. So we've got Power City water hose. And then the SantaCon system here, a whole house water filter. Now, we had a water filter in our Viking refrigerator. We've got a water filter out here, but what could be better than that? So this, uh, this RV, one of the new features is that it has a UV water filter as well, and I'll show that to you in a few seconds, but that's just so neat that they've gone to this, you know, you can really go camping anywhere. 50-foot uh, power, power cord, uh, of course, um, all power right here is the, is the extender. We don't have it on today because we just simply don't need it. And then, of course, oh, I keep slamming these. I don't have to slam these. They close very softly on their own. Uh, here's your Easy Glide again. This is just the other side of it. There we go. Suck it up, right? Suck it up, Buttercup. And then if you want to wash your RV, everything that you need is right here in the front. Of course, you've got your Road Wave. And then this is where your UV filters are. How cool is that? Just really awesome. Nice little squeegee for your windshield. Um, everything you could ever want for is just on this King Air. It's, it's really, it's pretty impressive to see um, how much convenience you can have packed into a 45 foot RV. Again, this is a 4531 uh, Newmar King Air. Here's your other fueling center. Uh-oh, must be locked. Um, and then, let's see if I did this. I did. Lamar, this is for you. So you can actually do this with the RV engine off, but you just, what you do is you push the start button and you don't put your foot on the brake. So the engine won't start, but the RV accessories are on and it will allow you to open up so that you can see your 12.5 kilowatt Cummins quiet diesel generator. And then look at those air horns. How cool is that? So super, super impressive. Um, just a really amazing uh, feat of engineering accomplished by Numar. Again, this is our 2021 King Air offered here at Trans West Truck Trailer RV. If you're looking to reference this video, you can do it with the stock number. It's 5N201400. Now, of course, this is a sold RV, so thank you very much to the Thompsons for letting us use this RV. But uh, again, my name is Katie O'Neill. I'm at Trans West Truck Trailer RV. I'm here in Frederick, Colorado. My number is 303-562-8659. I know these are long videos. There's so much to cover. I'm sure I forgot a few things, but please put comments below, reach out. Let me know if there's any questions I could answer for you. And thank you so much for tuning in and for shopping here at Trans West.